Hey, you know what's awesome? Voting. Hell yeah, voting was so awesome. I want everyone to know how awesome voting is. Well, luckily you can. Fair Fight is a grassroots organization started by Stacey Abrams in Georgia. Their mission is to fight for voters' rights and encourage people to vote. There's a Senate runoff election in Georgia on Tuesday, January 5th. They're focusing their efforts on those races now with volunteers and donations, so that's certainly one way we can help folks vote right now. That's so good to hear. I almost feel kind of okay about the future. It will be a hard fight, but progress is definitely being made. Well, until then, let's roll the video. This is the Pico Planet. It's a delightful board by Bleep Track that features generative celestial art. This is Bongo Cat, a delightful meme that features a kawaii cat that well, plays bongos. I want to live in a world where these two things collide and orbit each other forever. But first, a little bit more about Pico Planet. The main attraction of Pico Planet is the aesthetic, I think. I mean, is there anything better than space art? Personally, I love space, so no, there isn't. But what makes the art even better is that it's actually functional. Uh, these planets are capacitive touch inputs and, you know, functional PCB art. What a concept. There's also an RGB LED, some pins broken out on the back, and the whole thing's running on a SAMD21, which means Arduino support and, drum roll please, Circuit Python support. Yes. Now that we're better acquainted with Pico Planet, let's go back to Bongo Cat. I think most of us have seen Bongo Cat around the internet in one form or another, but this website, bongo.cat, allows you to be truly one with Bongo Cat and play the instruments. And not just bongos, you can rock a cymbal, a tambourine, a cowbell, piano, vibraphone, and of course some nice meows too. All with just some simple keyboard inputs. Winnie agrees, it's pretty great. So, are you picking up what I'm putting down? We've got a bongo cat that accepts keyboard inputs. We have this Pico Planet, it's got SAMD21, it takes Circuit Python. Yeah, I'm gonna make a Pico Planet Bongo Cat controller. Yes, Winnie, that's what I'm gonna do. At the end of the day, that actually just means I'm gonna make an HID keyboard device with this and send the right keyboard inputs while the Bongo Cat website is open, but that sounds really boring and silly, so Bongo Cat controller it is, thank you. At the Pico Planet GitHub repo, I was pleasantly surprised with some CircuitPython example code. It even had some commented out lines for using this thing as an HID keyboard device. Beautiful. First though, let's play with that RGB LED. I found that if I touched the inputs at the same time, I could actually blend the colors. Uh, and honestly, that could entertain me for hours. But we don't have time for that. We have to make a Bongo Cat controller. I strolled over to the CircuitPython HID repo, like one does, and made sure the scaffolding for HID was in place in my code. But then I made a terrible mistake. A mistake that probably at least a few of you have also made when you're making a DIY HID controller. I put that send key code line in the wrong spot. I put it so that it'd be sending when the key was not engaged. This creates a runaway keyboard input that causes chaos, bedlam, and mayhem to run rampant all over your computer. It's, it's basically the worst thing, because, yeah, it's, it's bad. It's real bad. Like, it's, it's bad. It's really bad. Looking back, uh, actually, with CircuitPython, it's better than if it's an Arduino one, can confirm, because I should have just deleted the code.py file off of the drive, right? And then that kills it. You edit your code, you put it back on. But instead, in my just pure fight response, I decided to wrestle it like a real life Python and uh, it was not as easy and bad. It was, ba it was bad, it was bad. Like so many Firefox windows opening because it was 
sending H, which is the key card shortcut for help and moo and oh my oh my I think I had like 200 tabs bedlam bedlam but we finally got back in there we're able to edit the code properly and ah look at that single press equals single keystroke lovely lovely what a concept so after assigning the appropriate keys to the appropriate capacitive touchpads it was time to revisit Bongo Cat. And sure enough, I was able to tap a tap the cap a tap touch, I'm so sorry, inputs so that I could play the bongos in a more pleasingly rhythmic way than was previously possible with my regular, you know, QWERTY keyboard. This is really the deluxe way to interact with a Bongo Cat, the boutique way. The moral of the story is that Bongo Cat is great. The next time you feel like you need to pluck your brain out of your head, visit that website, have a play around, you'll feel better. Additionally, Pico Planet is great. Bleep Track makes really cool art. And finally, it's been a rough year. So sometimes you have to follow your weird, impulsive project ideas so you can fully pluck your brain out of your head when Bongo Cat just simply isn't enough. I'm Liz, this is Blitz A DIY, and this has been a video.